toasties. Uh, Connor Kaneen, Irishman Speaks here. Is this thing working? Oh, it is. All right. Hey, toasties. We'll try again. Connor Kaneen, Irishman Speaks here. I'm just out walking the land. And I thought, I, seeing as I discovered a camera here in front of me in the middle of the highway, I thought I'd give you some outline of my program on what Mark Twain can learn you about public speaking. Now, you may know that Mark Twain was a famous author, but not everyone knows that in Mark Twain's lifetime, indeed from the late 1860s to his death in 1910, Mark Twain was probably the most successful professional speaker in the world. He was, yeah, in the world. In fact, Twain wowed audiences from New Zealand to New York, from Sydney, Australia to San Francisco, and many places in between. And what I will be doing during my program is giving you some insights on what Mark Twain can learn you about public speaking. Sorry, what? A phone call from Mark Twain. Okay, let's take it, let's take it. All right. <clears throat> Hello, Mark. Mark, hey, how are you? I'm a bit surprised that you're phoning me. Did you not say that you hoped everyone would eventually be gathered in heaven except the inventor of the telephone? You did? Yeah. Anyway, okay, look, I'm doing this, this program on what Mark Twain can learn you about public speaking. Yeah, I'll explain why I use the word learn instead of teach. I'll explain that. And I'd be interested in your thoughts, Mark, just briefly. A few questions for you on message preparation, because I know you were big on that. You said you prepared your impromptu speeches, even your impromptu speeches. Yeah? I used to begin about a week ahead and write out my impromptu speech and get it by heart. Very interesting. What was your process, Mark? In order to do an impromptu speech as it should be done, you have to indicate the places for pauses and hesitations. I put them all in it. I like it. I like it. Good stuff. Come here. We have to keep this short because a long distance phone call to where you are, I'm sure, is pretty expensive. But a few quick thoughts on adding laughter to a speech. Why is humor important? Mark? Against the assault of laughter, nothing can stand. You can't argue against that. And you could even find some humor, I understand, when your house was burgled. Yeah? Now they are in jail, and if they keep on, they will go to Congress. When a person starts downhill, you can never tell where he's going to stop. Uh, yeah. You didn't have much time for politicians, I understand. Suppose you were an idiot, and suppose you were a member of Congress, but I repeat myself. Well, I'm sure, Mark, you'll be glad to know nothing much has changed. Now, we'll also cover the pause which you believe is a fantastic tool, I understand, right? The right word may be effective, but no word was ever as effective as a rightly timed pause. And I was reading, Mark, that uh, the Syracuse Daily News reviewed one of your speeches. It said your pauses were more eloquent than your words. How was that? That impressive silence, that eloquent silence, that geometrically progressive silence, which often achieves a desired effect, where no combination of words, howsoever felicitous, could accomplish it. Okay, Mark, we're great talking to you. Look after yourself there. Hope you're enjoying your life. Cheers. Bye. Wow, we, Mark Twain himself. So there we have it, gang. Just a quick chat with the man himself. But basically, what I will be providing you with is an outline of nine lessons based on the speeches and writings of the great Mark Twain. The nine lessons amazingly spell the acronym Mark Twain. Now, what are the chances of that? I'll tell you one thing. I'm glad that he used the stage name Mark Twain and he didn't go with his birth name of Samuel Langhorn Clemens. I would never have been able to come up with 22 lessons for that as an acronym. So there you have it. Looking forward to seeing you shortly. What Mark Twain can learn you about public speaking. 
is a program that will help you to become a better speaker. It will help you to connect better with your audience. It will help you to add humor to your presentation because as Mark Twain said, against the assault of laughter, nothing can stand. So cheers, I'm off to walk the land again. See whether or not I can find more telephones or cameras on the highway. Stay well, stay healthy. Looking forward to speaking with you soon. Conor Canine, Irishman Speaks. Cheers. That phone is amazing. I mean, out in the middle of nowhere, it's even a wireless phone. And can you believe it? And technology these days is incredible. <laughs>